Meet Hello. Arnold. Hey, Arnie. Your tricks ah. suck. If you want to be popular, you need to stand out. How about some real magic? For example, the magician Harry Houdini got out of being buried alive with his hands tied. I think you know what I'm getting at, Arnie. Today, we're going to bury you alive for the third time. Ah. And since people have seen you perform this trick a bunch of times already, you're going to do it in a special way this time. We're going to handcuff you. And the coffin's going to be made out of metal. Okay, Arnie, buddy. Ready? Get in. During past burials, you already learned the most important rule. You need to breathe calmly and deeply in order to conserve your oxygen. Okay, now quit being calm. We need to get the handcuffs off. It's really simple. All you need to do is break one finger on each hand so you can slip them through the cuffs. Oh, quit your belly aching, Arnie. You still got two more fingers left. Use your belt or watch to try to crack open the lid. A metal coffin has weak points all along the edges. Come on, Arnie, I was kidding. You can't break through the metal, doofus. There's two meters of earth above you, which is pressing down with a mass of almost two and a half tons. So this third burial will probably be your last. Arnie. Arnie. Arnie, where are you? Oh, you little bastard. Yes, you really are Arnie Houdini. In just the same way, Harry Houdini climbed through a secret compartment in the sidewall of the coffin and into a tunnel. And then through a hatch in the grave, he dropped down on the coffin from above and covered himself with a half meter layer of dirt. But where's the hatch, Arnie? Surprise! You didn't really think I'd let you out so easy, did you? Swim up, Arnold, before the concrete sets. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you. The concrete solution, when interacting with water, forms alkaline molecules. And because there's a lot of moisture in your skin, then, well, it's gonna hurt. Congratulations, Arnold. You did it. You managed to attract attention to yourself. Revel in the glory.